obviously you didn't get to play against Tennessee in your college career, but you grew up probably watching UConn play Tennessee. What are your thoughts on the two teams renewing their rivalry today? Uh, I think it'll be really good. I know when I went to UConn, I hope that we got to play Tennessee, so I think it's just going to bring a lot of excitement. What is it about that rivalry that you think is so special? Uh, I think just the history of it, you know, when women's basketball was becoming more popular and, you know, those are the two teams that you saw. Those are the teams that everyone knows. When you say UConn or Tennessee, I think we think women's basketball. So I think it's just because of the programs, how much they've been built up, that they're going to be one of the greatest programs ever. Ariel played there. You played it. I know you didn't get to play each other, but did you get a sense from her what it was like being part of Tennessee's legacy? Yeah, for sure. And I think it's very similar to UConn. I mean, I was just in Chicago, and there was like five or six people that played at Tennessee, and they were all together hanging out. So it was cool. I mean, Ariel kind of gave me a little bit of an inside look because I actually knew her. Um, but, you know, it's I think it's the same thing. If, when you go to school and you play for four years, you're part of a family. And so I wish I could have played against her when I was at school, but we'll all be watching it when it, when they match up this year. What did she tell you about uh, what the best part of her experience there was? Uh, just, you know, they make you better. And, you know, when you go to a program like that, you know it's one of the best programs. You know it's going to be hard, but you just, you really become part of a family. And you work really hard together, but you also also enjoy just the time you have and you know I know if she could go back to college and be around those same people she would just how I would. So you want to trash talk her more? Or oh yeah for sure. More? Well I see Strick a little bit more but you know I think when that matchup I'm texting everybody so <laughs> anybody Tennessee I know I'm texting. <laughs> How do you feel about? It? I mean, you didn't never, you didn't ever play it, but no. is it good to bring this these two back together again? I believe it is. Uh, I think it's good for the game. I mean, it's, it's probably not going to be the same because Pat not here, but um, but it's for a good cause. I think it's going to raise a lot of money uh, for the Pat Foundation, and I think that's what the fans been waiting for, though, uh, for UConn and Tennessee to play again. And um, you know, I'm rooting for Lady Vols so, <laughs> all day. <laughs> you watch a lot of those games when you were young. Younger, when oh, you yes, back. I did. And what, what I loved remember? it. I then moved from the TV when they played each other. Uh, I think that was another big thing, a uh, reason why I went, but I hate I didn't get a chance to. But, um, you know, I just think it's gonna be good though. Um, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I think that first game is gonna be a crowd, even people at home. I'm gonna be watching it probably be overseas, but I'm still gonna be watching it, so it's gonna be fun. Does the women's game need it? these yes. two teams together. I believe it's going to be great. I think the work team is going to bring a lot more fans and you know I mean the college is already great you know so I know it's just been a talk of the day all day everywhere you go Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, every social media you see it so I think it's going to be big. So is it going to be betting between you and Tuck or what? Oh uh, she wants to. <laughs> she know me. She said you owe her a dinner. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna be on. It. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a better trash talker, you or Tuck, when this game comes down? Do you think? Uh, I think it's gonna be me. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it goes the wrong way, then I'll be fine. <laughs> you disappointed you never played against Connecticut before? Yes, but I think a lot of it. I mean, we didn't make it to the final four in my year, so uh, I think that has a lot to do with it. I feel like we would have made it to the final four. There's a lot of times we was on the same side of the bracket. Uh, we just didn't get to the final four. Do you have a different? sense of what this is about. You, you play your basketball in Connecticut and you played your college ball in Tennessee. I think you and Kara Lawson are probably the only ones that, that do that. And you have a different sense of, of, of Tennessee and UConn and just how, how the fan bases might be a little different and things? Uh, I think it's just, I mean, it's just a robbery. I don't think the fans here don't, didn't like Pat Summon. I mean, I think it's just a robbery. You know, it's competitive. Uh, two great teams, two great coaches, her and Gino. Um, but the fans been here, been great to me, so they haven't treated me wrong because I've been to ten I went to Tennessee. So I just think it just, I mean, both teams competitive uh, and had two great coaches, and it just went from there. So does that mean the fans in Tennessee don't like Gino? <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so.